Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. We have this function f of z is equal to 1 by z square and we have to find its Lorentz expansion for a given domain, right? Generally, what we do when we have any function and in denominator, if you have the product of two or more brackets, we try to make them separate. Fortunately, in this example, we have a single term in denominator, which is z square. So no need to make it separate. So it, now it's very easy to find its Lorentz series. Okay. So before starting our discussion, so let me remind you for Lorentz series, mostly we use these two series one by one minus z, which is one plus z plus z square plus z cube and so on. This series is valid for that mod z less than one. One more series we have one upon one plus z. Here we have alternate minus plus signs. Actually, we are having both series are same, just signs are different. Having a same condition mod z less than one. So in most of the cases, simply we use these two series to find Lorentz expansion, right? So what is a function we have f of z is equal to one by z square and they have given a domain also. So let us consider that condition also. So we have, we have one less than mod z minus one less than infinity. That means having a finite value. Okay. Let us try to understand its geometry and then we will discuss or we will find its Lorentz expansion to find the region. We need to replace this inequality by equality. So we will have mod z minus one is equal to one. We know that mod z minus z naught is equal to R. This is equation of circle center z naught and radius r. So here we have a center one, one that means one comma zero since imaginary part is not there. And this is the radius, which is also one. So let us draw rough sketch of it. So this is real axis. This one is our imaginary axis, right? So one comma zero will be somewhere here, one comma zero and radius is one. So we will have the region like this. Okay. So I am showing by dotted lines because we have strictly less than, okay. One less than mod Z minus one, one less than radius one is less than. That means the region, which is a exterior part of this circle, getting the point. That means our region is an exterior part of this circle. Okay. So this type of region we have, I have shown here. Okay. And for that region, we have to find a Lorentz expansion. So let us continue the discussion of this part. Uh, to find Lorentz expansion, we use these two series, but see, did you notice uh, those conditions? In the right hand side, we have one. But see here, in the right hand side, we have that mod z minus one. So let us shift mod z minus one on this side. So what will I have? One by z minus one less than one. So now we have condition similar to that one in right hand side, we have one and in left hand side, we have some term getting one upon z minus one, right? So let us go further. F of z is equal to what we have one by z square. See in a condition, whatever inside mod, inside mod, what we have z minus one, we always try to adjust that term in our series. So here we have z minus one. So here also we supposed to adjust z minus one. So how to adjust it? It is quite simple. Z minus one plus one whole square. If you cancel out plus one and minus one, then you will have the previous term, right? See, it's a part of adjustment. One more thing I to, uh, told you already in previous video. So that thing is whatever in denominator, we should take it common. In denominator, we have z minus one. So let us take it common. Okay. So this is our trick. So yes, I'm going to take z minus one common. So it will look like this one upon z minus one. I'm taking common and outside this bracket. But see, when you take it outside, it will come with its power. So that's why square will be there. So z minus one, this z minus one, we have taken common or outside. So that's why only one is left there. But see from this one, we cannot take z minus one common. So I should write here one upon z minus one whole square. So if you multiply, you will have the previous term. So like, let us think about it. 
सो वट वी हैव वन बाय जेड माइनस वन स्क्वेर ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सपांड दिस वन वन अपॉन वन प्लस वन बाय जेड माइनस वन स्क्वेर सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू एक्सपांड कैन वी यूज दिस सीरीज वन अपॉन वन अपॉन वन प्लस हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव वन प्लस एट अ प्लेस ऑफ जेड वी हैव वन अपॉन जेड माइनस वन बट द मेन डिफरेंस इज हियर वी हैव अ स्क्वेयर एंड देर इज नो एनी स्क्वेयर सो यस दिस सीरीज इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर दिस वन बट सी वॉट वी नीड टू डू इट्स वेरी इजी आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इट्स डेरेवेटिव लेट सी एम वॉट विल हैपन सी आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव दिस डायग्राम ओके सो लेट एस डू दैट थिंग हियर आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इट्स डेरेवेटिव इट्स डेरेवेटिव विल बी माइनस वन अपॉन वन प्लस जेड स्क्वेयर ओके इट्स डेरेवेटिव डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वन बाय जेड इज माइनस वन अपॉन जेड स्क्वेयर तो सेम फॉर्मुला यूज let us take derivative of right hand side also derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of z is minus 1 derivative of z square is 2z derivative of z cube is 3z square and so on let us multiply both sides by minus 1 so 1 by 1 plus z square sign will get change 1 minus 2z plus 3z square minus 4z cube and so on and the condition remains same that is mod z less than 1 so let us see can we use this series for this one okay let us see so 1 upon z minus 1 square same pattern we have 1 upon here also 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus at a place of z we have 1 upon z minus 1 and square also we have but see it should follow the condition then only we can expand the condition is mod z less than 1 at a place of z we have 1 upon z minus 1 so its mod must be less than 1 then only we can use that expansion but see mod of z minus 1 is already we have proved it is less than 1 so let us use the expansion so 1 minus 2z 2 at a place of z we have z minus 1 plus 3 1 by z minus 1 square minus 4 1 by z minus 1 cube and so on so this is required lorentz expansion If you want, you can multiply each term by this bracket. So you will have the terms like this: z minus one square minus two upon z minus one cube. This z minus one and this square. Okay, I'm multiplying each term by this term. So plus three upon z minus one raised to two and two. That means four minus four upon z minus one raised to five. This cube, okay, cube it has and it there is square, so five, and so on. So this is required Lorentz expansion of a given function in the given domain. Okay, so make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.